Some people have said, well, Robert Breaker, you made a video in September 23rd, 2015, and you said the rapture would be on September 23rd, 2015. Uh, no, I'm sorry, but have you ever seen that video? Uh, quite a few people have, and everybody I've ever talked to that saw that video, they said, Brother Breaker, we appreciate you not setting the date of the rapture. What you did is you just said there's a lot of people talking about this date and something that might happen, and you just presented what they all said, and you said, now, wouldn't it be nice if the rapture took place or something to that effect? You didn't say, thus saith the Lord, the rapture will take place in such and such a day. Again, I made another video on September 23rd, 2017, and in that video, nowhere in that video do I say, thus saith the Lord, the rapture shall be on September 23rd, 2017. I did not say that. I said, now, there's a lot of things that are coming to pass, and we're looking at the Bible, we're looking at the stars because of Revelation 12. Uh, these people are saying all this about the Jewish feast. And as a Bible believer and a Bible teacher, I believe that we should go to the scriptures and look at all things, prove all things, hold fast that, which is good. So what I'm trying to Okay, Robert, holding true all things, holding fast all things, going to the scriptures. You know, yes, you are technically correct. You never actually said those words. You never actually said, thus saith the Lord. You never actually said, this will happen on this date. But here's the thing, Robert. You jumped on a bandwagon. Okay? You hitched yourself to the wagon of September 23rd is likely to be the day of the rapture, or it is the day of the rapture on both years. And the question is, why? Why did you do that? There are many, many, many other things you could have talked about. But you chose those two dates for some reason. Now, I'd like to think that possibly you knew, hey, a lot of people might be attracted to this video for reasons of interest who aren't saved. And then I'll talk to them about this and then give them the gospel and they'll get saved. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess that that probably was the reason. And that did happen. And, and people were saved. And you know what? I, I can't complain about that. The Apostle Paul didn't complain about it when people were saved, even though the message wasn't perfect. There are better ways to preach the gospel than that, but hey, I, I'm never going to put that down, Robert. I'm so glad that people are getting saved. But you seem really defensive, sir. Why? Why are you so defensive? Are, are, are you bothered that people are questioning why you're doing this? Guess what, Robert? It's our job, okay? You're getting on YouTube, you're standing up in front of a quote-unquote pulpit, and you're preaching the word, you're using the name of God. Whether or not you say, thus saith the Lord, you're still prophesying because you're using his name to tell us things that you think we are supposed to hear. That's what a prophet does, Robert. A prophet speaks forth things that God has for them to hear. So whether you like it or not, you're prophesying. Other times you're teaching. Okay? And... The question becomes, why did you hitch yourself to that bandwagon? And just because you didn't use those exact words doesn't mean you weren't on the bandwagon. Let me give a kind of an extreme example. Let's say there's a chorus of people, a big chorus of people singing, and they're singing praises to Satan as Lord. All hail Satan, Lord. All hail Satan, Lord of the universe, they're singing. And you're in that crowd, and you're not saying those words you're just humming along, but you're in that crowd with them. Oh, I never said those words because I don't believe those words. I, I was just in the crowd for some other reason. I was hoping to get some of them saved. <laughs> I'm not trying to compare the two. You weren't satanic in what you did, but that's the point. You're, you're hitching your ride on it. You're, you're in there too. And you're not exactly decrying, hey, everybody stop this date setting nonsense. Here's why you shouldn't do it. No, you were saying, hmm, this is very possible, very interesting. It's kind of fake, Robert, and we all can see right through it, okay? We're not stupid. And let me just repeat myself. It's our job to judge you and what you're saying. It's our job. It's our responsibility. You can sit there and defend yourself if you want. Get back on and make more videos defending yourself and defending your... It's fine. But we all know what you are doing, okay? Now you look slimy, even more slimy than before. Oh, I never said those actual words. We ain't stupid, Robert. We ain't stupid. So you don't like the accountability. You don't like people holding you up accountable. Then stop doing it. Or stop whining. <laughs>